I would like to talk about this that you sent me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. Yes, well, now, in reply to the question, suggest how you would resolve the staging difficulties inherent in a production of Ibsen's Peer Gint. You have written, quote, do it on the radio, unquote. Yeah. Well? Well, what? Well, I, I know it's probably quite naive of me, but I did think you might let me have a considered essay. Yeah, well, that's all I could do in the time. You were dead busy in the shop this week. You write your essays at work? Yes. But Denny doesn't like me doing this. He gets dead narked if I work at home, and I can't be bothered arguing with him. Rita, you can't go on producing work as thin as this. At least not if you want to pass an exam. I thought that was the right answer. I sort of encapsulated all my ideas into one line. Rita, it's the basis for an argument, but a single line is not an essay. You know that as well as I do. Done what? An essay. In attempting to resolve the staging difficulties in the production of Ibsen's Peer Gint, I would present it on the radio because, as Ibsen himself says, he wrote it as a play for voices, never intending it to go on in a theatre. If they had had the radio in his day, that is where he would have done it. <laughs> 